Hey, hey everyone. I think I know what's in this package. I think it's from the Netherlands. I think it's um, mailed to me from donlawrence.com. And uh, I'm gonna open it up and see if I'm right. And this is an experiment to see if, if I think the uh, getting the Don Lawrence Storm books shipped to me from Europe is a worthwhile thing. Um, so I'll just give you a but uh, there's nothing more unboxing, unpacking, unrolling, unwrapping, all of it. Unboxing, that's like, at least it's pretty much Maybe it's like that. I don't know what that is. It's not in English. I don't know what that is. It's not in English. And more stuff. Not in English. I suppose I could use Google Translate. That has a Don Lawrence kind of look to it. Um, so I assume this is a catalog of upcoming or currently available items. Okay, so here it says that, uh, I won't show the list because it has my address on it, but um, it says that I bought Storm the Collection Volume 1 for uh, 45 euros and Storm the Collection Volume 2 for 45 euros. Now the, um, the shipping was 30 euros. So um, pretty expensive, but this is what European people often are doing when they're getting stuff shipped from the US, right? So let me see. So I'm getting more excited, ripping off more plastic, and uh, so here is this. This is volume one. That's quite a cover. Not not the kind of cover I expected. Uh, inside is a print, I think. I don't know if that's a real signature. I assume not, since Mr. Lawrence is deceased. Although perhaps he signed these a long time ago. It's copyright 2000, the Don Lawrence collection. Don Lawrence slash big balloon. So uh, those are the end pages, not much to see. Little Don Lawrence uh, pencil drawing there on the title page. Storm the collection, Philip Dunn, Don Lawrence, and Martin Lodrick. The last, the deep world and the last fighter. Oh, we got a English, an introduction in English. So that's promising. More, more materials. Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to get excited. The, uh, the binding looks pretty tight, but um, let's see. Yeah, I think it's gonna be okay. And I, I, as most of you may know, I appreciate a large, a large size comic. It's always bigger is better, at least up to a certain point. Maybe there's, there's points where I've gone a little crazy with my uh, size of the, with the really big book. So this is probably actually an ideal size for a comic book. Um, Yeah, so this, I'm very happy with this. I may buy more. First, maybe I should read a few more. The only Don Lawrence I've read was that paperback that I mentioned in a video a little while back. And uh, I loved the art and the story was just kind of, it, it was a story that was uh, a type of story that was in my wheelhouse, but it, the, the writing effort, the effort put into the writing and plotting seemed rather low, but uh, I don't know. And I was told that that was not a great example of Storm. So here is volume two. Yes, volume two. Just has a nice little two on it. No big deal. Um, I like that cover a lot better. Does this guy have a penis nose? I don't know. I guess just a worm nose. Another, another print. This one's not signed. So maybe that signature on the first one was a real signature. That's a beauty. I really like that. And more introductions, more art. Actually, there's no gutter loss in here, here at all. So even though it seemed like a tight binding at first, it does its job very well. And there is a ribbon. I don't think a ribbon, this one's in tight. I don't think a ribbon sells me on a book, but it's a nice touch. Yeah, so overall these are very nice. So for 
uh, 45 euros, which I assume is a little over $50. Uh, depending on the on the day um, I think these are quite a good deal now whether it's worth the extra $30 in postage um, I don't know I, I have I have wiggle room to indulge myself so I if I like these volumes I'll definitely be buying more um, and of course the completest in me might start kicking in Let's see, I haven't looked what it looks like under the dust jacket. Oh, that's nice. There's underneath the dust jacket. I almost, part of me always wants to just throw away the dust jackets, but I know that that dust jacket is hugely important for the uh, re resale value down the line. Um, and the dust jackets are, and these dust jackets are very nice. But I find dust jackets a pain. They're actually, even though they're to protect the book, they're the most fragile part of the book. Um, <clears throat> same same uh, drawing there. So uh, I'm I'm pretty stoked, pretty excited. These are very high quality volumes, famous European comics that we can't get in the United States. Um, whatever you can't get becomes uh, very desirable. So um, we'll see. I'll talk about some storms sometime in the future after I read these.